Hi everybody. September 19, 2019. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Uh, it, it really feels like every single day the changes for the worse are taking on such a speed that it's really, it's a wow. It's just a wow. You know, I always read the headlines on the local uh, papers here in Anderson, South Carolina, and inevitably there will be an, a headline that will be about Agenda 2030 or raising taxes or, uh, well, <laughs> A couple of days ago, I saw a headline, South Carolina considering banning abortion, um, which will, wow, that will put South Carolina on the national stage, won't it? Um, vaping, yeah, the deaths caused by vaping and South Carolina legislature thinking about what to do about vaping Will they ban, well, flavored vaping like New York? Well, all right. Or it's global warming. Um, well, today was a real global warming here. I go to buy water at a local new uh, supermarket, and I see this headline, Flagship Anderson County Children's Park closed for three days because of global warming. You think things are getting out of control? They are getting out of control and we haven't seen anything yet. Already we are seeing the controlling aspects of our lives and it's gonna get a whole lot worse. Yeah, only two parks though. They only closed two out of the county's 36 park system. Oh, because uh, those two parks were geared for children. The other parks, adults. Oh, well, the children don't come to the parks without their parents who are adults. And one would think the adults would know, okay, it's way too hot. I'm not going to bring my child to the park today. Uh-uh, no. You now need these government officials like uh, Glenn Brill, the county's park and recreation director, he has to protect you because you don't know. You don't know that the heat could affect your child. So Brill has decided to take it upon himself to save your children. This is not to be mean. It's to be safe. Closures made as a precautionary measure. Okay, it's been hot here. Playlists on my channel, weather modification. And on that playlist, the ways in which man can create heat waves, can increase the temperature of that atmosphere. Amazing. People don't see the radical changes in the sky. Uh-uh, you don't see that black carbon dust dumped into the sky. You don't see the pink clouds that we have. You don't see what is happening right smack in front of your face. Brill. Or do you see it? Or you're just a climate change pusher. A climate change liar pusher. Yeah, it has been hot. 97 degrees on Saturday, 93 Sunday, 98 Monday. And these are very above the historical norms of 85, 84. And guess what? Uh, we have more heat coming. I, after going to that supermarket to buy water, which I'll get to in a second why I'm saying it, like I am saying it. Um, I stopped to talk to a neighbor who goes to her weather app when I see her and she starts 
telling me what the temperature is going to be for five days. 90 plus for five days. Very strange because the normal temperatures for this time of year are like 81 degrees. So it is hot. But it ain't because of global warming. Mm. Do you think that I felt hopeful when I saw that headline? Do you think it might have, oh, did that SMH thing with me? Oh, it sure did. Yeah. So this other control freak, Julia Woodson, who runs a 13-member Facebook group, Friends of the Park Kid Venture. That's the name of the park. That's only about a mile away from me. Um, said this. She hopes shade and a clear set of standards for when to close the park will help children and parents. Well, Julia, why don't you just stop controlling things for people closing parks when it's hot and well a parent might want to take their child to a park and sit in the shade and uh uh no we've got to close it because of global warming oh my god i cannot believe okay here she says uh, heat and sun have long been issues for parents at the park but i thought you were closing it because you wanted to Make sure the children were safe, safe from the heat. But the standards, yes, Brill is going to come up with standards. When to close those parks here in Anderson, South Carolina. Huh. Closing parks in the future. Oh my God, okay. Here, drinking tap water in the United States could give you cancer. Scientists warn. Public water supply serving six million people found to contain up to 25 times the safe limit of toxic chemicals. The Environmental Working Group published, I believe yesterday, their latest uh, study of water supply systems in our country. I've posted videos on those studies, the previous studies, and our water supplies, you know, where you get that water when you turn on your tap, filled with dangerous chemicals and toxins. So now their latest is that it could give you cancer. <laughs> You think something's wrong in this country? Considering everything that is so toxic now, how could anyone believe that this is just, oops, sorry, accidental? <sighs> magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field is mysteriously acting up, pushing North Pole towards Siberia. Scientists. They don't know why. You don't know why, scientists? Do you ever look at HARP? You know, the high active auroral research program? Scientists, physicists have said HARP, the second stage, which was already up and running, I believe in 1997, they said harp can flip the magnetic pole. You don't know why? You never look at what our military is doing, scientists? Science has gotten a bad name from scientists. It's going haywire. Researchers don't know what's causing the magnetic field to now move so quickly. We've got these artificial induced electromagnetic uh, frequencies, the high frequencies that are pulsing from Doppler radar and pulsing right now. In fact, it's an early time period, but it's been pulsing all day. 
Uh, yeah. Those high frequencies, that pulse from Doppler radar, and they're emitted into the ionosphere, pushing the ionosphere up. And when they change that power level, oh, the ionosphere comes crashing back down. And those extremely low frequencies that come from the ionosphere, when it comes back down, those extremely low frequencies go right through the Earth. Do you think those extremely low frequencies might have an effect on the magnetic field? I don't know. Just, hey, I'm not a scientist. So I guess I'm just going to have to shut up and listen to the scientists who say, I don't know what's going on. We're in trouble. They think a high-speed jet of liquid iron under Canada could be responsible for the pole's movement, weakening the magnetic field below and allowing Siberia to draw over the pole. Okay. By the way, YouTube, a YouTube exec says new rules and laws needed to tackle platforms bad actors. Get rid of those who speak the truth. Yes, YouTube has grown so much that it needs new rules to handle bad actors. Neil Mohan. This is what he said. Oh, he's the chief product officer of YouTube. YouTube has now grown to a big city. Now bad actors have come into place. And just like in any big city, you need a new set of rules and laws and kind of regulatory regime. A regime, Neil, huh? Yeah. We want to make sure that YouTube remains an open platform. <laughs> and oh, oh my God, open, really? Uh, because that's where a lot of the magic comes from. Even though there may be some opinions and voices on the platform that I don't agree with, that you don't agree with, oh, let's just let them have a voice. Really, YouTube? As you're banning, terminating challenge, uh, uh, cha um, channels, you're, oh, okay. Well, this is our world today, you know. I, it, it, Mohan suggested positive discrimination could be applied to authoritative sources like AFP or CNN or BBC or AP or whoever, which raises an issue already flagged by independent media channels that have grown large audiences on the platform. Wow, man. The site was criticized for, YouTube was criticized for banning a number of media challenges. Uh, ch well, I, what's, well, is it the extremely low frequencies that are forever belting away? Spartanburg, Doppler radar, the extremely low frequencies coming right into Anderson, where I live. Maybe it's just making people control freaks. Something is going on here, boy. And I'll be posting a video on what is happening just in my apartment complex. Oh, boy. Uh, well, let's get back to YouTube. So YouTube was criticized for, for banning a number of media channels, like Press TV, Telesaur. Is it Telesaur? It probably tells her. Uh, and in 2017, it deleted channels that had documented airstrikes and conflicts. It has also come under fire for bowing to Israeli pressure and blocking a video negatively critical of Israel in 28 countries. That's it? That's your entire list, RT? Really? How about what, what really amounted to hundreds of channels terminated for posting on Sandy Hook. And Sandy Hook I will get to in one moment.
How about all of the channels that have received strikes for uh, violating guidelines when they haven't violated any guideline? How about all the channels that are taken down simply because the person whose channel, uh, channel it is, they're speaking something that is contrary to the official narrative, like those authoritative sources that lie to us all the time. Our world. Our world. Okay. I will not play this video. Sandy Hook Promise. Pay attention. Sandy Hook Promise. I really want to get your opinion, what you feel and think about this video. This is a PSA. It's a PSA. And I have to tell you, watching this, I thought, okay, we, we've turned a corner here and our world has really become something that, yeah, it's unrecognizable to me, but that we don't have sane people pushing against this stuff. I just don't get it. You know, so these kids are talking about how, oh, you know, thanks mom for the headphones and, oh, my parents got me this fabulous um, backpack for school and Oh, these wonderful notebooks for school and these great headphones and uh, great sneakers. And then it turns into something quite dark. This kid running down the hall, running away from something. What do you think it might be? Thanks, Mom and Dad. Great skateboard that he breaks the window with. These are great scissors. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is where it turns. Thanks for the cell phone, Mom. I love you, Mom. And she's terrified and crying. So, adults, I guess they like to traumatize children. Evil adults do like to traumatize children. So, I could get this video taken down just because of what I've said. It's outrageous. And even though that Mohan guy said, hey, you know, uh, we want to create this open forum where I may disagree with your opinion and that's fine. Oh, it's really not. This is the website. I promise to do all I can to protect children from gun violence by encouraging and supporting solutions. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have a store. You can buy things. How do you like your world now? Everything premised on a lie. All right. Well, they get the job done, right? Loads of articles about Sandy Hook. Promise. Their PSA delivers terrifying back-to-school message. It debuted on NBC's Today Show. It appears to be an ad for back-to-school products, like backpacks and binders, but gradually takes a much darker tone as students react to a school shooting. Well, 
it is clearly uh, the this is the world it's it's owned and controlled by psychopaths narcissists and liars and I don't think they have that right to control everything but hey it is just the way it is you can uh, get a job uh, by applying in seconds and wow Sandy Hook promise hiring 24 to 45 dollars an hour yeah it's it's these organizations that have an awful lot of money and they can hire people and a lot of these people that they hire they think that they're doing the good work right well the good work actually it doesn't pay you $45 an hour I just want you to see the uh, here the first page Trump and McConnell watch this ad that was the PSA then do something about gun about gun violence well what's Trump gonna do well it's McConnell gonna do they're going to do what Trump did not promise to protect that Second Amendment now when I click on Washington Post we noticed you're blocking ads hang on in changing my browser to get this article without uh, having to um, you know block my ad blocker I read the article well it doesn't this title it simply means that the Washington Post writer wants Trump and McConnell to do something about gun violence damn it get those guns that Americans have take them away take them away oh and it's a real yeah a couple of weeks ago when we were in the throes of back to school I shared with you the heartbreaking email from my friend Cheryl about her daughter Rosie's reaction to an active shooter drill a bad dream caused the high schooler to switch her planned outfit from cute to practical I had a dream that there was a shooter and I wouldn't be able to run in the outfit okie dokie well do something Trump do something McConnell let's have more gun control legislation look Chicago the toughest gun control laws in the nation and did it work no because they have a lot of gun violence what's happening oh well you know what's happening enforcement they just didn't enforce the laws yeah May 23rd 2019 that's what they're saying that's the that's the excuse that mainstream media now has come up with more than 34,000 Illinoisans have lost their right to own a gun but nearly 80 percent may still be armed oh my god and they are attributing the failure to law enforcement you didn't enforce those laws okay you know here Beto right gun store runs out of Beto special named after gun grabbing communist hell yes we're going to take your AR-15 your AK-47 hell yeah we're gonna grab them we're gonna take them from you if you don't let us well 
you will have a SWAT team raiding your home, throwing you in jail. So this Arizona gun store named uh, a AR-15 and an AK-47, the Beto Special, and they ran out. It's, okay, smart faucets and toilets. Use Alexa to listen to your conversations. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey guys, Anna and, and Mike here with Delta. Delta. If you're, if you're like, like us, you probably, probably have some sort of connected home speaker like, like Amazon Alexa or Google Home device. device. We, we use ours for all kinds of things, things to play music, set cooking, cooking timers, we even use it to check the weather. And, and now thanks to Delta, Delta Faucet's Voice IQ voice technology, technology, you can use your voice to turn on your kitchen faucet. faucet. Pretty crazy, right? And, and you may be wondering why you'd ever need to do that. that. But if you think of... Yeah. Okay. Well, Alexa. Turn on my faucet. Sure, but I'm spying on you. I'm spying on you. Designed with the understanding that 20% of all Wi-Fi enabled homes are equipped with a connected home device, Voice IQ technology pairs with existing devices to dispense the exact amount of water needed all with a simple voice command. Voice IQ technology allows users to easily warm water and turn it on and off with voice activation, lending a hand in an active kitchen space. Well, <laughs> install Alexa in your kitchen at your own peril. So how about that voice activated toilet? We are back here at CES 2019 at Sands Expo Convention, and we're back here at Kohler. And we got uh, Andrew Van Gordon, and he's going to go over the uh, brand new Numi 2.0 uh, toilet. Hey, Andrew? Yeah, this is uh, Numi 2.0 Intelligent Toilet by Kohler. Uh, this, this is, is our second iteration of the product after it launched originally in 2011. Uh, uh, what's great, what we're bringing to market here later in 2019, uh, that's, that's special about this version is the interactive dynamic lighting that you see here in front of us. Uh, there's five preset scenes to take you through different lighting dynamic modes uh, to really submerge yourself in the bathroom and really bring it all together uh, through the use of the toilet. Uh, the, the next update, update that we've upgraded over the current NUMI uh, is the sound quality and the speaker quality of that technology. Uh, speakers have come a long way since we launched NUMI in 2011, and improving that uh, experience was important for us uh, to allow that consumer to fill the bathroom with sound, uh, whether you're accessing sound while taking a shower, uh, while getting ready in the morning. Uh, that was an important aspect of updating to NUMI 2.0, of bringing that technology to the market. Uh, what's, what's special and even more advanced about Numi 2.0 is the embedded power of Alexa. Uh, so you're able to access your playlist, you're able to add things to your shopping list. Uh, you're also able to have uh, toileting uh, commands through Amazon Alexa, like flush my toilet or start my uh, heated seat. Uh, it's really... All right. I, I'm sorry. Um, flush my toilet, Alexa. NBC News ridiculed after climate confessions goes horribly awry. Yes. Have you checked out that page that I linked to below my video that I posted last night? Uh, I meet, I meet, meet every day and won't stop because it's good. Well, I think it's I eat meat every day. Uh, another one. Who cares? I'll do what I like. I'll floor it in my gas-guzzling sports car for fun. You don't matter to me. Great. Uh, I am eating bacon with breakfast this morning, and I'll have it again tomorrow. I like my house to be 85 in the winter, 55 in the summer. Deal with it, hippies. 
I own a huge SUV. I take long drives in the country just because. I think the climate has always been changing, and I'm not going to stop eating meat because of cult-like manipulation by the left. I don't do anything for the environment. I don't care. Okay. Um, will NBC delete it? Go to that page that I linked to last night and read some of the comments. A whole lot of people are not believing in climate change. Thank God. Now, we need them to care that it's a lie. But back to guns. Instagram now banning photos of people at gun ranges claiming they promote violence. No, they actually promote safety. But hey, who am I to say? Now, hear this. The Bolsheviks even want to tax your toaster oven. That's right. Okay, a new tax plan, a new uh, proposal has been introduced. Treat wealth like wages. Oh, in a concept paper. Uh, U.S. Senate Finance Committee laid out a plan late last week to radically overhaul the tax code in a way never before seen. Oh, what are they wanting to tax? Well, pretty much every asset you own. Cash in your bank account, financial assets like stocks and bonds, private business and partnership interests, your entire real estate portfolio, collectible assets like art and fine wine, even though you were taxed on it already, but now you're gonna be taxed again every year. IRAs, household goods. The guy who authored it, U.S. Senator Ron Wyden from Oregon. Well, unless Americans begin to care and, well, do that, mm, open up your window and I'm mad as hell, I'm not going to take it anymore. We all have to take it. All links are below.